high in the mountains near Bedford, Wyoming. A hard-charging snowmobiler is in his element. Nice and pristine day. But even though he feels like he's on top of the world, he's about to learn that in nature, the bottom can drop out in an instant. He roars up to a ledge 400 feet above a valley, totally unaware of the hidden danger directly beneath him. Here I go. A massive block of snow suddenly breaks away, and now he's teetering on the edge of a 400-foot drop to the rocks below. If you were on the precipice of this disaster, would you know what to do? Get ready, because we're taking you to the edge to see if your instincts would keep you alive. What would you do? A, slowly get off the snowmobile and creep away. B, throw your ride in reverse and back off the ledge. Or C, dive away from the edge as quickly as you can. Here's what you should consider. You're on a mountain ridge, seated on a rumbling snowmobile, and the snow below you is falling away right before your eyes. What you've stumbled onto is a deadly trap known as a cornice fall, where an outcropping of snow called a cornice hides a steep, lethal cliff. Cornices are created when intense winds drive blowing snow up and over the crest of a ridge, like a breaking wave in the ocean. The powder builds up on the other side like a house of cards, creating the illusion of solid ground. In reality, the only things holding this cornice up are millions of ice crystals loosely fit together like a flimsy jigsaw puzzle. One hanging over a steep abyss. Every year, there are stories of winter sportsmen who've plunged hundreds of feet to their deaths from these treacherous hazards. One step too far, and you could become one of them. Whoa. Think fast and make your choice. A. B. Or C. So, what would you do?